If you have young children, this is one of the funnest places in Kansas City. If you watched the previous video about Union Station, you would know that in the late 90s, both Missouri and Kansas decided to renovate Union Station because it was falling apart. One part of the renovation proposed that almost 300,000 square feet of the station would be repurposed into a science center. And that science center has become Science City, one of the best places that you can take your children if you're here in Kansas City. If you're driving through looking for something to do, or if you're living here and have never visited Union Station, you definitely need to check out Science City, especially if you have young children. If you visit, you're going to want to park in the parking structure. It does cost a little bit, but I do have a cost saving tip that I'm going to share if you stay to the end of the video. After you park, you have to enter Science City through Union Station. Come through here. And if you haven't purchased your ticket yet, you can do so here or you could purchase it on your phone before you go inside. Now that you're inside, let me give you my five favorite places that my family likes to visit. Number five has to be the toddler area. Right now, as of filming this video, I have a three and a one year old and we love the toddler area. It's located on the lowest level of Science City. I enjoy it because both of my children can find things to do here and it's easy to keep them both in there. They have a limited amount of space where they can play to their heart's content and they can't get into other areas. Unfortunately, my oldest son is getting to the age that he's going to be too old for this place, so that leads us to our fourth favorite place in Science City. Number four has to be the dinosaur section. It's also located on the lowest level of Science City, and this section is great for kids to dig and find dinosaur bones. It's also a lot of fun for them to come down here and spend 10, 15, 20 minutes quit quietly digging through these rubber chips. My kids like to throw these things around, so if you come around here, watch out for flying rubber chips. Number three is the outdoor area. If the weather is nice here in Kansas City, there's an outdoor playground area that many children will enjoy. They have a zip line, places to climb, and various other fun things to do for children. My kids love the slide and the zip line, and while they're a bit too young to enjoy it all by themselves right now, as they grow older, they're gonna love playing here. Number two has to be the carnival and game area. We always stop here even though my kids don't completely understand all the games and what they're supposed to teach. They enjoy this area because there's so many things that grab their attention. And number one has to be the train area. This is our favorite place in Science City, which is fitting because of Union Station's long and storied railroad history. If you want to find out more about that, click on the previous video about Union Station here. If you come here, you can explore a full-size locomotive, as well as have your children build multiple train sets, letting their imagination run wild. We spend a lot of time letting the kids build their own trains. We also love that they can come and explore the full-size locomotive engine. Now, just because I didn't mention an area doesn't mean that your family won't like it. Remember, my kids are three and one, and I'm sure that their taste will change as they grow older. So I can see that as they grow, they're going to start to explore other areas of Science City. Here's a few places in Science City that I didn't mention that your kids may like, especially if they're older than three and one. I do understand that my kids are a particular age where there are a lot of things that wouldn't necessarily appeal to them, so why don't you have a look and see what else Science City provides. I also saw that as of January 2023, there was a section here that was under construction, so I guess we're going to see what this becomes in the future. As you can see, Science City is an amazing place for young families. That being said, if you're looking to move here to Kansas City with your young family, I would love to help you. I'm a local realtor, and I moved here myself from California three years ago. I know how to manage the stress of moving from a different state, so please give me a call or text at 626-226-6611 or send me an email at jalen.wong at gmail.com. If you're looking to sell a home here, I would love to talk to you as well. I'll leverage both video and podcasting to get your home sold. If you're selling, I would love to have you on my podcast, the Fountain City Podcast, so that you can tell buyers why you love your home. I'm going to make sure every interested buyer has access to your podcast episode. I believe that marketing your home well will be a paramount in any market, so give me a call at 626-226-6611 or send me a text or email me at jalen.wong at gmail.com. So remember I told you that if you stayed to the end of the video, I would share a cost saving tip. So here are two. If you're local in Kansas City and you have a young family, make sure to sign up for the Union Station membership. If you decide to visit Science City at least three times in a year, your family will easily recoup all the costs associated with the membership. Also, you get little bonuses like discounted admission to the various exhibits that come through Union Station. If you do it before you leave, then what you could do is you could take the cost of what you just paid for Science City and take that and put that towards your membership. I wish that they would also include with the membership discounted parking, but related to that, here's tip number two. So if you come during the weekend, one of the things that they're going to make you do is pay for parking up front. So this tip won't work. If you come during the week, take your parking ticket with you into Union Station and have it with you while you visit Science City. 
after you're done at Science City, go to Harvey's or Pierpont's and validate your ticket. Now sometimes the host will do this for free, but if not, then go ahead and buy a small drink in a to-go cup from one of the locations. It's actually cheaper than the parking that you'll pay, and it'll give you a drink that you can enjoy on the way home.